Hello, citizens of YouTube. This is the Geeky Nerd here, and today we're going to be doing a versus video. I know, scary, right? Ooh. <laughs> but it is a battle of the sights. It is the Night Vision Glow Domes versus the Night Vision Perfect Dots. So before we get too deep in the weeds here, uh, this is going to be a bit of a lengthy video because we're talking about two different things and, and going to go a bit in depth about the company and the, you know, obviously the versus, the comparison between the two. So stick around if you can. And thank you to everyone who has uh, liked, commented, and subscribed on the previous videos. I greatly appreciate you guys. I always enjoy talking with you and getting your opinions and just, you know, just get a general discussion going on instead of feeling like you're talking in a fishbowl. <laughs> and uh, with that, let me know what you guys think. If you prefer the glow domes or the perfect dots, or you don't have an opinion on either, or if you're just like, what are these glow domes? Where are my trigicons? We'll get into that in a second. So thank you guys. If you're new to the channel here, uh, check out everything we have on the channel please consider liking commenting or subscribing and with that let's get into it so night vision the short answer of it is my treasure cons are dead to me they're going on reddit gun accessories for sale as soon as i can get all of my guns transitioned over to these night visions that's the truth of it why is that well first thing is price Night visions are generally what I've seen about 15 bucks cheaper. It's not a whole lot, but when you add up across your multiple, your whole arsenal, it adds up pretty dang quickly. <laughs> so every little bit counts. Second thing that they have to their uh, benefit when you order from them directly, of course, is you can order from them directly. Unlike Trigicons, Trigicons, you need to go through a dealer or reseller or what have you. So kind of a downside, but with that, uh, uh, but with the fact that you can order from them directly, you're also getting additional benefit. These sites, all of Night Visions are made to order. Now you may say, well, that's a bad thing. That's going to lead to extended wait times, extended shipping, what have you. It doesn't really, they get, they get these things out pretty quick. They're made here in old, good old USA, I'm joking, USA. <laughs> and, um, and they use CNC machining, which is great. But what, what, what are you like getting when they are made to order? Well, you're getting the freshest tritium possible. Because of that, then you know that they're going to last the longest. For those of you guys that don't know, tritium has a half-life, most people say about 15 years. The technical scientific part is 12.3 years, and tritium is just a H, uh, uh, an excited version of hydrogen. It's H3, and it's emitting uh, light off, uh, and that's the light that you see in the short of it. <laughs> uh, now, with that having a half-life of 12.3, but we'll just say 15 because that's what most people say, after 15 years, these sites will appear half as bright. Now, it's kind of a variation between that just due to the fact that it's how, you know, uh, how they, you know, how they make it, how much tritium there is, and yada, yada, yada. So even though it hit a half-life, it'll still be brighter than the competition just because, you know, just because they used more of it, what have you. But... Tritium uh, has a half-life, we'll just say 15 years. So after 15 years, it'll be half as bright. And so 30 years, it'll be completely dark. And you can get those replaced at that time. However, uh, not a lot of people want to do that and spend more for sites. The sites will still work. You just won't have the night vision capability. Night vision. <laughs> the night glowingness capability. <laughs> and uh, uh, the fact that Trigicon, you don't know when they... You know, if they sent it out five months ago, that batch, and then sat on a shelf for a year, two years, what have you, or sat in their warehouse, or, you know, you don't know. So you're losing time with that. Because these are made to order, you're getting the freshest possible, which is just a nice to have. Not a need to have, but rather, rather I would rather have than have not. So that's one thing that they have with them as well. And the final thing I would say is that they, because they are a new company, they are uh, giving some innovations as opposed to just the standard night sites. I guess uh, that's why they're coming out with these glow domes, which I'll show you what the difference is here. And we'll start out with the perfect dots. Now, before we, um, if you want to consider this the end of the video, uh, you just want the quick answer. If you're looking for a pair of sites and night vision is the one that you're, the ones that you have decided with, if they have the glow dome, uh, selection for the pistol that you're going to use because they are not on every single pistol yet as of the uploading of this video, I would go with a glow dome over a perfect dot. However, if they only have a perfect dot and you're coming from a factory site, not that there's anything wrong with factory sites, or if you're making a lateral transition from a Trigicon, I would not feel like I'm compromising, losing out, or otherwise 
missing something by going with a perfect dot. If they don't have the glow dome, I'm okay with a perfect dot. But if they have a glow dome, I'm going to go with the glow dome over just the plain perfect dot. That's a $10 increase, but I'll show you why I prefer that. So the good old perfect dot, first thing difference is you can see here, it is perfectly uh, flat. The tritium vials in there are flat. There is no doming to them. Hence the thing of perfect dome. So or perfect dome, <laughs> glow dome, combining the two. And why is that? Why is that an issue? Or why is that something different? Well, because uh, because you are having a dome, there is technically more of a surface area for light to be emitted out for your eye to pick up. When you look at these two directly, they have the same amount of tritium in them. However, the glow dome appears to be bigger and brighter. It's a bit, it's not too crazy, but it is a bit. So that's one thing to look at here with the rear. Now I did chose, uh, choose the U-notch. That's just preferential, easier for me to pick up. Um, but that's one thing to consider with the light transmission. Second thing on the front, you can see here on the perfect dot is it does, it is domed. Uh, the back or uh, the front is domed. So you do get more light on that front. However, the, the ring around it is not translucent is, uh, doesn't have any capability of light to transmit forward. It's just a red ring for your eye to pick up perfect or the perfect i keep doing that the glow dome <laughs> does not have that uh the glow dome is actually uh transparent where the uh, tritium light can seep through which is a nice thing to have now one good thing really for the perfect dots is the color selection currently the glow domes are only available in yellows and oranges that may not be a big thing for you, you may prefer a yellow may prefer an orange however i prefer red that's just my preference and the closest I got with there was an orange, but I wanted to see the difference. I said, you know what? I'm, it's close enough. I'm, I'm going to use it to shoot anyway. It's still going to shoot pretty much the same. But if I have the alternative choice, I'm going to pick a red. They may come out with different colors, but at the moment, that's a win in the uh, perfect dots. They have blues, reds, uh, whites, yellows, and just a whole smattering. So that's pretty much it with the perfect dot. Now let's get into the um, glow domes. So first thing. You see here in the rear, that is actually domed. So like I was saying, you have more of a surface area, so the light appears to be transmitted. Now, this is as close to Apple's Apple's comparison as you can get. Uh, they're both U-notches. They're um, you know, just a little bit different color variation, but as close as I wanted to get. <laughs> so you can see there it's domed. And same thing for the front. Now, it probably does appear bigger, and that reason for that is because it is just a wee bit bigger, but that orange is actually translucent. So the green that's being emitted from the tritium will actually bleed out and show in the perfect dot. It's ever so slightly, but you do pick it up with your naked eye. All in all, looking down, you can see there it is, um, it does just appear bigger. So here we will do a direct apples to apples here. So there is the focus closer you got you guys are going to get <laughs> there's the glow domes and there is the perfect dot so you can see pretty well that it just appears a bit bigger i know i know it's out of focus i can't get it focus but you can see the rear sights the front sights this is as close as a uh, comparison as i can make it now let's get in between um let's get in between the lights real quick cut those off uh also guys both of these are safety checked Probably should start it with that, but I always safety check everything before I start any video. Like every gun owner should do. So just for you guys in case you're wondering. <laughs> so let me cut the studio lights off here. One second. Here I'm gonna jump cut, I'll be right back. So guys, I cut the lights off here. And you can see here in my right hand I have the perfect dots. In my left hand I have the glow domes. So Apples to apples. These were both brand new, freshly purchased, and hopefully it's coming up on camera pretty okay. It looks like it is on my little viewfinder here. But you could see that because of that dome technology, it does appear bigger and it does appear a bit brighter. Now, when you get up real close to it, I don't think it'll focus. <laughs> uh, you can kind of see the, uh, the perfect dots over here are actually uh, have like a pin to them. You can see that, you know, when you look at tritium sites, you can see they almost have like a pin in the center to where these ones kind of flood and even out across the entire bit of light. Looking at the front sites here, you can see 
that the, um, at least on this one, at least on the camera, it, it appears that the perfect dot is a bit brighter, but the um, glow domes are a bit bigger. Now, looking with my naked eye, uh, just looking off a of camera here, I will say that the rears, there's definitely a noticeable difference. The brightness, I would say, with my eyes, have would have to go to the perfect domes. Um, perfect domes, god darn it. The <laughs> glow domes, just because they do appear bigger uh, and just flood your eye a bit more. Now, when it comes to the front sight, I'd say it's pretty closely matched. However, that glow dome is definitely giving off just a, the hintest, the tiniest whiff on the orange. And I'm not sure if it'll pick it up on camera, but yeah, you can kind of see there just the faintest hint that it is uh, that it is glowing around that orange as opposed to the perfect dots here. It's just, uh, you know, it doesn't pick that up. So let me cut the lights back on here. Another jump cut. Hold on. So as you guys saw there, that was the uh, live difference between the two. Again, the uh, if you value for extra ten bucks, I believe it is around ten bucks, the that little bit of extra light transmission and just that general domed appearance, then uh, I would say go with that. However, my still same. Same stance as if you get, if you get the perfect dots, you'll be fine. But if they have the glow domes, I would upgrade to the glow domes. As far as colors go, uh, that's more of a personal preference choice thing. I'll make a separate video talking about you know pros and cons of each one here. But that's my general take on the glow domes versus the perfect dots. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope I hope it was helpful for you. I was definitely interested myself to see this, so I'm sure other people would be as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think, which one you preferred, which one you thought was better, um, and all that fun jazz. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day. I will catch you guys next time. See you guys.